Alrighty boys, so today I'll play four paid access Roblox games. I'll review these games, share my overall thoughts, and answer the question, is the game worth it? And the way I'll be rating these games will be based off the following. Is the game fun slash engaging? How is the story slash objective? Are the visuals slash audio good? And of course, was the game worth it? And let's hop straight into our first game, which is Project Flight. Coming in at just 50 Robux, this game is developed by Robux Group Project Flight, and it is a flight simulator that offers a balance between accessibility and realism that features detailed aircraft models and graphics. Upon entering the game, you have options to play the game, play as air traffic control, alongside some other options. You also have a choice to do free flight or career flight. Right off the bat, I like the amount of options you have to choose from. After selecting your plane, you can choose the airport you spawn into, and also the gates. So the first thing I noticed was how good the plane looked, and also how clean the GUIs were. And after turning on the engine, it appears that the left and right engines were turning on. And by the way, the engines were very loud. So after trying to steer the plane onto the track, I was able to take off and retract my landing gears. At this point, it was just a free flight. However, I wanted to land my plane at another airport, but that's where the real challenge begins. After trying to slow down and trying to get a lower altitude to land, I did this. Hundred above. 20. Yeah, I messed up. I forgot to put down my landing gears, and to make matters worse, I did this right after. Yeah, I killed everyone on board. So after giving the game another try, I was able to get on track a lot easier, and take off a lot easier too. We were off to a perfect start, but I still wanted to land the plane. I saw an available airport from the distance, but I had to reposition myself properly first, and hopefully things won't go wrong. So that was Project Flight. I'd say the game is fun, and it was pretty engaging. The biggest thing I enjoyed was definitely taking off, and also crashing the plane. There isn't much of a story to the game, but as far as the objective goes, currently there's only a free flight. And that's what we did. The visuals were great. The plane models in the game looked amazing. I really like the amount of camera perspectives you have in the game as well. And also the amount of control that the game offers. The audio was good. The engines were kind of loud though, which makes sense. So, is the game worth the price of 50 Robux? Yes, I would say that the game is worth the 50 Robux. So our next paid access game is Sapien. A game developed by Roblox worth game lab experiences and costs 900 Robux. This game is a primal survival simulation monkey game, where you need to use evolution to your advantage. So upon joining the game for the first time and pressing play, you spawn into the world with nothing but yourself. Looks like we're in some sort of jungle or some tropical area, but looking at these GUIs, you have a hunger, thirst, and stamina bar. You also have this brain looking thing over here, and that's your intelligence. You can increase your intelligence by doing things such as eating food, like these berries over here. There's also crafting in this game, which you need to unlock through more intelligence. This game also features some animals that roam around a place which are either hostile or they just run away. I was actually able to hunt this one animal down, and I think this other monkey started attacking me too, so there was already some PvP to the game, but after some fighting, I think it ended up disconnecting. This game also has a day and night cycle, which you have to be careful of, since there might be some creatures hunting around the area. But fast forward a bit, I ran to the savanna area. I then found these nuts to eat, and finally upgraded my brain. With this upgraded brain, it gave me more options to craft better items. I chose to craft the stick, and then this spear. I also love the crafting animation, you just pound the floor like a monkey. However, something unfortunate happened. I tried attacking this one elephant, attempting to dodge the attacks, getting in from behind, and then this happened. Yeah, I got extinct. Okay, so that was Sapien. I'd say the game was fun, but only once you leveled up slash upgraded your intelligence. The game was also engaging, with the animals and the other players, you're always on the lookout. There isn't much story to the game, besides like maybe upgrading your character's intelligence and trying to not get extinct. The visuals were not too bad, but I think the audio was also good. I like the music and ambient noises. So, was the game worth 900 Robux? Honestly, maybe. If you have the Robux, as in like you have really nothing to lose, go for it. But if you're just a casual player and looking for a game to play, I would pass on this one. 
Alrighty, so the next paid access game we have is called Tower World. A game developed by Robux Root Franco J and coming at 50 Robux. It is a tower based obby game that features its own unique characteristics and mechanics. Upon entering the game for the first time, you need to do the tutorial first. Long story short, the tutorial helps you out with all the basic jumps and movements in the game. Once you are done with the tutorial, you can then access the world of Tower World. From here, you can choose to play a select amount of levels by entering their teleporters. I chose this one here, so let's begin. First day, uh, you picked the Lush Tower. So right off the bat, I love how there's voice acting in the game, and also love the overall vibe that the game has. The game felt smooth, you knew exactly where to go with the help of the indicators and coins. You can also see the mechanics used from the tutorial, utilizing the orb jumps, and also the wall jumping. There's also checkpoints in the game, in case you died or messed up. I also like how there are also traditional obby jumps, such as these wall wraps, so I like how they combine traditional obby stuff with their own twist. So after getting to this final wall climb, and also collecting all the coins, I was able to beat the level. So that was Tower World. If you guys don't know, I've had played this game in the past, and I enjoyed it a lot. I think this game is very engaging, it is an obby game after all. Each level has their own theme to it, and their own story slash way of winning, and the objective is just a matter of completing the obby, alongside collecting all the coins. The visuals and audios were amazing, you can tell that lots of work and effort has been put into it. So, is Tower World worth the 50 Robux? Yes, it is 100% worth it. Even if you're not into obby games, I would still give this game a shot. So our last paid access game is called BloxTube, a game developed by Roblox user the Motornator, and it costs 25 Robux. This game is about becoming a BloxTuber, or pretty much a YouTuber in Roblox, where you create and upload videos to make it to the top of the subscriber leaderboard. So upon entering a game, you have to click play, and enter your channel name. You're then met with a tutorial, which was very useful. It taught me how to place objects, and some of the basics of the game. Booting up the computer was slow, since I assumed the computer was very old and cheap, and it looked like I only had two options, buy games and make videos. Making videos was easy, you select the game, give it a title, and hit record. During this phase, I had to choose some options that appear, to help craft the video style. During the upload, it took a very long time, assuming I have trash internet. I kept making videos over and over again, buying some games on the side. I also noticed that hunger and energy bar, suggesting that I had to eat and sleep eventually, so that's what I did. I placed on my bed, and a basic cooking station, I made some food and ate it, and afterwards went to bed. There's also a city you can visit, which sells stuff to help you along your journey. I went to the tech store, but everything was pretty expensive. I could have gotten maybe a mic or a camera if I stayed up enough money, but honestly, I just wanted to end the game from there. So that was Blocks 2. Me personally, I thought the game was fun, maybe just the beginning part, but I feel like you really need to grind the game. The game was also pretty engaging, it made you think about the videos you need to upload. The story was basically just making videos, uploading them, buying some stuff on the side as well, and of course the objective was being a big blocks tuber. The visuals were okay, and as far as the audio goes, I don't think there was really much audio at all. So overall, is the game worth 25 Robux? I feel like 25 Robux is a very reasonable price for this game, so yeah, I would say it's worth it.